<clears throat> okay, this is just a fast video on a go before I publish about a couple that now are freezing with a baby outside just as I was told the case is gonna be and will be like this till they're gonna get a place to stay <clears throat> yeah this goes under Prince Andrew's news and I really don't know why I'm doing this when I think about it um, the guy actually told me if nothing's gonna happen with me he will persist until I publish the news <laughs> so here's why I'm doing actually okay um, the man you see right here involved like I said Prince Andrew news Prince Andrew all the way Prince Andrew that's a prince of Scotland and Northern Ireland that's Prince Andrew see I would know um if you wanna learn about these guys here you're welcome to Google that idol here the guy was involved in this probably since 2015 uh, a wife now right I hope the two got married and it's really nice I like the fact that he had a problem with the drugs and uh, the two have found a sense a meaning of life in something else um, she was he met her like in 2017 they the two know each other for some time she was involved um, and so on and so forth this man here however since 2008 about four years before he got his job here in uh, working with vulnerable people and I think that maybe even more even more so but what got my attention is in an article maybe that's interesting and it's also the reason why I'm gonna publish this stuff uh, where is this says this Gallagher Street whatever oh, hey, it's not Gallagher it's Glengale Street Glengale Street this is in Belfast and um, Belfast Northern Ireland okay what I'm gonna tell you is basically like this yeah this is this is a very old church in too much details about one I'm not gonna go those are the details that uh, Charles gave me Prince Charles now King Charles but apparently this is this is a real diamond and I would think so based on what I see here um, it's like this right sometimes in 95 already 95 Northern Ireland Prince would bring me to this street actually to Belfast back and forth and this and that and so this was a building that needed attention this building here what I'm gonna say to you I remember in 95 and 96 I'm gonna tell you I remember what appeared to me some kind of guy that was in his um, you know I would say this man was aged sometimes 95, 96, and 97. Well, you're talking about the man in his. I'm talking about the rear of the building, yeah? To be very, very specific here, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna do it like this. Now, I'm talking about specifically about 
<clears throat> let me take also the view from here probably probably I don't know probably we are talking about all of these entrances you know let's see that one more time from John I'm gonna tell you exactly yeah 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 okay cool yep this was uh, if it, sure I would say this thing here was like um I was just like a tall walls high wall ceiling old building that rather look like a storage area like actually kind of abandoned area uh, but it was not it was a business I think like <coughs> something that went on this is quite exclusive this this belongs to a church but there was somebody that they had some kind of they they, they had some kind of business something and he had a son <clears throat> so his age I estimate sometimes in 96 and 97 98 this gentleman who had this son also now I estimate his age was about like even I would say like 60 yeah something like that what kind of business did he had some manual stuff I don't know what you know but he had a son and this is a very, very exclusive information I'm giving you. This is no possible. You would get any of this. I'm giving you the building on the inside. You see this building here, this this beautiful church. How do you say diocese? Diocese. Diocese. Okay. So the building was not in a good shape in my opinion based on what I have observed this was not building uh, from my end when I would go this is dark inside uh, it looked more to me like abandoned building something like that so they started to throw some cash on one surprisingly the building is just really a beauty a state of the art um, a priests, I have met them all. Uh, they occupied all this stuff. You now they 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 had a problem even with my saying that there was some something, some kind of storage inside, uh, business and stuff like this that that was inside. It was it was it was it was inside like this. Um. This is probably the most important part here that you see. Why is this the most important? Because it's going to give me de facto proof of MK Ultra, and nobody's going to be able to say anything about this. This is completely a rear of the building. You see this here? This is a rear of the building. And what's special about this is that the building, this, this here, this was completely, completely, completely renovated. Okay this building was totally totally renovated completely okay now if you would go behind the corner here like this and you would look you would have a look you would say haha this is a new portion of the building that's what they hyped me with they hyped me with this is they 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 made a construction new construction um the thing is it's not true uh, what uh, makes it special about this building is something that uh, was not present anywhere else during MK Ultra. What makes it special is that this is still, you know, they gestured me that they demolished this part of the building. No, they did not. This is actually demolished on the inside, but on the outside, the walls are original as you see them right there. So this was like a specially, specially in a special way renovated building this was a building renovated on the in on out special renovation style with walls 
original walls, therefore, remaining intact. So that much for this Belfast, but it was all over the Britain. I was not only here, and you better believe it, I was here. If I wasn't here, I wouldn't know any of that stuff. Okay, so what makes the strongest proof about all this here is my statement in respect to renovation style of this building. So the building was, you could even say rebuilt, but only on the inside where you now have businesses. Okay, you see this kind of stuff, yeah, so that's that. All right, so that's all I got to tell you about this. It's a beautiful, beautiful church with a beautiful priests, nice people. Yeah. No, they did not tear one down. Even there were people that claimed me they torn one down and this and that. No, they did not. Uh, it was a special renovation style. Uh, they did not build in the same style as what you see the church. No, it's the original walls, but on the inside, that's the only part of, of this building, this whole thing, church. On the inside, however, they turned one into businesses by probably demolishing everything on the inside. Uh, it is just really shell that remained intact. Uh, from the old building but inside is everything completely completely changed probably torn down and built on the inside on the inside the building is completely new the only thing that uh, reminds of an old uh, original structure are actually external walls so this was a very very expensive renovation I was told so that's that. That's all I'm going to say. And um, in respect to this um, couple, um, the man told me that he's going to he's going to insist until I'm going to publish his news. Uh, and if I'm somehow not going to publish the news, that he's going to get hurt on a warm place. He didn't mention baby at that time. Now they do have a baby, and it's a boy. Congratulations. Uh, while he would continue to persist camping outside in the cold weather, which would not be a smart thing to do, uh, especially in re respect to his past, it's better not to expose yourself to uh, to these issues. I like this uh, uh, this heart here on top with this Belfast life. Okay, so. That's all I'm going to say to you for this video. You better believe it. This man here, man, I got to think about this guy. Ah. Paul McCusker. I got to think over about that guy. Uh, he, when they started this, I can see some... Um, it was he, and it was um, it was also some older gentleman. And um, but um, I got to think about that stuff. I know the area, the way it looks like this kitchen. Uh, I have all this stuff imprinted in my head, but I got to think about. I got to think about uh, his previous employment and that kind of stuff. Um, maybe it's going to come something to me, all right. But cool, this this here with the uh, Glengall Street. Yeah, this was a good idea. This was this was this just um, yeah. This was just um, the easiest way for me to see, because the only thing that happened was, so what is this thing here? Okay, so, 
<clears throat> the only thing I did was, you know, this thing when you see it, you, there's no way you can go wrong about it. I was actually told, and I, I pretty much believed them, that I could do MK Ultra and all this street, all this stuff. Okay, I would be rich if I would make money with this stuff. So maybe I'm going to become a fortune reader or something like this, you know. And I'll start to collect uh, the money for my MK Ultra readings. How about that? Since... Uh, Nobody knows me, nobody remembers me, but that I somehow know and read minds. Beautiful, 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 beautiful church. Beautiful church. So, 